A child alone, orphaned by famine, just another unwanted mouth to feed, with an empty bowl, cursed as a serf with a forgotten name, known only by the courtyard rooster, intruding in her recurring dreams of hunger at sunrise, as unfed revenge waiting to feast till the day she had her fill and fled to the mountains, leaving a hen with a broken neck and a husband with an empty bed. High above the village, away from the chicken shed, the air was fresh, and she breathed freely to speak of untying bonds of domestic servants and liberating bodies occupied by empires, and people suddenly knew her name as they wrote songs and sang it together. So their children would remember Lady Chu, and then they sharpened kitchen knives to prepare a communal feast. Before long, their meal was ready, and they sent out invitations to unwanted guests, serving them village after village, till the masters grew hungry instead, wailing and cursing heaven above. How could you take food out of our full mouths till the emperor heard their pleas and grew angry with his ungrateful children, fighting over food that belonged to him alone, and wrote a royal decree to let them all starve with troops dispatched to burn their fields. But Lady True saw the soldiers emerge from the kiln of hell, a glow in imperial fury, and rode an elephant to meet them wearing a golden robe, open with their breasts unbound and held swords in both hands, while her army stood at the well, waiting to draw. Then in village after village, their water put out the fires, till the land had no blood left to give. But before the flames could engulf her, the mother goddess descended on clouds and carried her to heaven, where she was welcomed by her parents with a full bowl of undying love. And on earth, the villagers who escaped the flames built a temple of bricks made from the mud of their fields to welcome the immortal spirit of Lady True home once every year, to ride her elephant with swords in her hands, to remind men to be ready to fight off new empires that would arrive to build rubber plantations and poison their fields with chemicals on a mission for a white savior, to sell freedom as franchisers of get-rich-quick on the backs of new serfs being paid slave wages and children begging to eat USAID Happy Meals from the hands of killer clowns.